The pause and the minute's silence for Ruth Perry is all window dressing. Apparently the pause, organised by Sir Martin Oliver so Ofsted can receive training in mental health care, will be terminated on the 22nd of January and everything will begin again and the Ofsted people will go around schools bullying uh, heads of staff and heads of department and uh, head teachers and causing more turmoil in schools. The system needs an overhaul. The system isn't getting an overhaul and uh, both unions and people concerned about what happened to Ruth Perry will no doubt be up in arms. But I think ordinary teachers should be uh, equally concerned that this is not the way to um, to ensure that standards get better. The way to ensure that standards get better is to give control of the running of the schools to the schools. Any student, any parent looking at a school and recognising that a school is simply in hoik to Ofsted, whatever that is, recognises that actually the school is not an authority in itself. The school is simply the um, the slave of an institution. So why go to the slave? Why go to the um, monkey when you can go to the organ grinder himself? Why... <laughs> Why, 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 why pay for peanuts, or why accept peanuts when you can get the actual get the actual deal? So uh, maybe parents should stop um, sending their children to school and should send them to Ofsted instead. Ofsted clearly know how to educate. Uh, shouldn't we see Ofsted actually in practice in front of a in front of a classroom demonstrating what a good class should be? I, I, I think that would be very helpful if uh, Sir Martin Oliver and the people that he's assembling can get, let's say, even onto YouTube and demonstrate what, um, what constitutes in their mind a good class and, and exactly what points they're looking for in a good school. I think we need to see the criteria and we need to see whether these people actually have the competence to make judgments. It's as simple as that. There are 3,000 inspectors working in schools, further education, social care and child care facilities. They are apparently going to attend two training sessions uh, starting from next week. And, uh, and, and that is supposed to reform the system. Two training sessions and a minute's silence. I think we could do better with a sticking plaster.